Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name is Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday, which means it's time for a review show special. Now, this is where I take a deep dive into a particular company or a particular creator or a particular product and I kind of give it a full once over. And today I'm going to be looking at Matthew Wright. Uh, specifically, Matthew Wright and a couple of tricks that he's come out recently and we're also going to be looking ahead at some tricks that are coming out by Matthew in 2022. Now anybody that has seen the Talk Magic playlist and you've seen my interview with Matthew Wright you'll know I have all the respect in the world for the guy. He is an incredible performer, he is hilarious, uh, he's creative, He's just amazing on so many levels, and he's also so knowledgeable and so passionate about magic. Uh, so first of all, if you don't already, I want to I want you to do two things for me. First of all, uh, follow him on YouTube. He's got a a review show called The Web of Secrets, which is a really great review show. Very different to what I do. It's uh, very well produced. It's only ten minutes long. But it's like super well produced. There is nothing else like it in the magic community. Uh, he's really kind of taken a look at reviews and thought how to make it different. Very well produced, very, very different to anything out there. And he focuses just on downloads. And all the downloads that he reviews are available to buy in the Web of Secrets store as well, which is a really smart idea. So first of all, go check out the Web of Secrets review show by, uh, by Matthew Wright. Also, go check out uh, his Fat Matt stuff because he's looking trim he's looking fine uh, he really is he's uh you know he's been on this crusade um to you know lose a lot of weight and he's been doing it now for the best part of about a year and he's looking incredible you can go check out his journey by looking at that as well but you're not here to talk about matt's weight loss you're here to talk about magic uh i'm going to be reviewing two items today uh, a download that he's just bought out and also a trick that he bought out in conjunction with Mark Bennett. And again, if you don't know who Mark Bennett is, he runs the Smoke and Mirrors uh, Magic Bar uh, and Theatre in Bristol, which is an amazing place. And uh, if you haven't been there, you should do. It's incredible. And I did an interview with him as well. So you can go check that out on the uh, on the Talk Magic playlist. Um, so I'm going to be looking at those two tricks. Uh, but the first thing that I want you to see is an interview with Matt Wright. Uh, I sat down with Matt for probably about 20 minutes, half an hour, and we chatted about the new things that he's got coming out. We also chatted about the stuff that's just come out, but he also gave some sneak peeks at some of the things that are coming out in the not too distant future from Marvelous Effects, which is his production company. So if you want a sneak peek of what's coming out in 2022, this is absolutely an interview that you want to watch. It's about 20 minutes, half an hour long. After the interview, you're going to come back into the studio and I'm going to give two of Matthew's new tricks a full review. So I am back once again on Magic TV with the marvellous Matt Wright. Matt, how are you doing, my friend? I'm all right, Craig. How are you, mate? Hey, always happy to have you on the channel. But I've got to say, you look completely different to the last time I interviewed you on Magic TV. Mate, you look good. You are buff. Cheers, man. Yeah, doing all right. The exercise is coming along nicely. Been doing some oh. jujitsu, fighting every a couple of times a week as well, which is good. I've been watching the YouTube stuff. I'm a huge fan. You've been having the shit kicked out of you like daily, right? <laughs> yeah, three times a week I get beat up. And apparently that's what you do for 18 months, I think. I don't know. That's what the guys beating me up say. Anyway, I don't know if they're just having me on. But yeah, I'm getting battered and getting fit. So it's all right. Real inspiration to see the first video you posted on the channel uh, where you were like frying all the bacon sandwiches and everything. So like six, 12 months on looking at you now and watching the stuff online and seeing it's, it's a real inspiration. Like what a transformation. Oh, cheers, man. I, I do get a lot of messages from people. So yeah, that keeps you going. And I, I post videos and, and photos every single day on Instagram as well. So yeah, it's going really well. I was watching you do the performance on uh, uh, trio by the other brothers. And, and 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 looking at you on that versus looking at you like now, like it's just a complete polar opposite. Yeah, that was like, that was, I think that was at the height of my, my fatness really as well. I didn't even know that was, hey, I forgot all that. I forgot I'd even done that. Yeah. Yeah. When did that out come out? A few months yeah. ago. Vanishing right, Games. Okay. They put it out, yeah. So, um, yeah, congratulations, first of all, like, you know, you see some people that go, oh, I'm going to lose weight. And then two weeks later, it's like, right, okay, I'm not going to lose weight. But I mean, you've really stuck at it and, and you look incredible. Bless you, man. Thank you. 
You're looking good too. You were a chunky monkey once upon a time, yeah. weren't you? You know what? I have lot. I, I put a shitload of weight on over lockdown. I've lost about a stone and a half, but I've got a long way to go. I'm 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 not prepared to have the crap kicked out of me, you see. So it's probably gonna take me a hell of a lot longer than it has. Ah well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's nothing but, wrong with getting beat up every now and again. Makes a man of you. Absolutely. Well, talking about making a man of you, let's talk magic tricks because you have just brought out a whole bunch of stuff. And I know you've got loads more stuff planned coming out in the future. Uh, there's a few before we talk about any of that, by the way, if people that are watching this have not yet checked out matt's review show you really need to do that because it is the best review show on the net it is so well produced like it's like watching like it, like you look at my stuff and it's like filming it like in my office and you know and then you've got this like super highly produced different filming locations there's a narrative there's a story it's incredible. yeah i put a lot into it i mean I, lo I love doing the videos it's it's my hobby and and, and crossing that with a job as well, trying to find a way to make them both work together. So I put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, it's called The Web of Secrets. Uh, I say it goes out every week. It doesn't. It goes out every time I get a video finished because, like you say, there's an awful lot of work goes into it. I do, my, I do my best with it, but it's probably every couple of weeks it, it comes out. And we review stuff, and also I look at my... I look back, it's not all the new stuff that comes out. We go back in time and, and the magic that really influenced me. So we looked at Tommy Wonder and Eugene Berger and things like that, things that really helped me growing up and starting as a magician because it's still valid today. And probably, well, it's probably more valid today because you don't get that sort of thing on, on tutorials anymore. It's just, here's the trick, that's how you do it. And a lot of the time it's, it's by people who've, who've never done a day's work in their life. Well, yeah, you're right. You know what? I wasn't going to mention this, but you, one of the more recent ones, you went, uh, you showed your version of Eugene's Haunted Pack, um, which was incredible. And you've got like that as a download, haven't you, where you can literally learn everything to do with the Haunted Pack that you've come up with over the last like. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, not, a far, it's not a far cry from the original. There's been so many adaptations and new methods over the years, but the original back in the 50s, I think it was, probably even before that, um, it, it works. And I, I've added my own little nuances, my own little twist to it. And it was something that me and Eugene worked on when I went to live in Chicago. Yeah, I love the trick. And it, it, the reason that that came about, that download came about, is because we were doing a TV show. We had the, a TV co uh, crew over filming ha what a magician can do to to make a living during lockdown and things like that and they said what was the greatest trick you'd ever seen and it was eugene doing that trick in a in a bar in amsterdam it was unbelievable so that's where the whole premise of, of releasing it came from wow that's incredible and and it is watching you do it i think people dismiss the haunted pack because it's so old but watching you do it and if people haven't seen that episode of the review show i'll link it down below go watch it because it genuinely just had like shivers going up my arms watching you do that. It was just brilliant. It was brilliant. And it's amazing. I mean, like I said, a TV crew, the one trick that I'm going to do for a TV crew w was that trick. And it, it, it stood me in, dead, in good stead for years and years. And like you say, people do miss, dismiss it because it's old. But as Eugene used to say, for every book that you've read since you were born, read two books from before you were born. Because there's so much good stuff, so much, so much great stuff in there that's just been been lost to history, really. So there's nothing wrong with the old stuff. New doesn't necessarily mean better. And quite often it means a lot worse. Completely agree with you. 100%. But that brings us on to some new stuff that you have got coming out. I mean, first of all... I mean, some new stuff is really good as well. Some new stuff <laughs> is really good, right? <laughs> and, and, and first of all, just so that people know... All of your stuff, all your little downloads, also the stuff that you review on your review show, they're all available on the Web of Secrets, the store, right? That's I've Yeah, all we, all we have in the Web of Secrets, apart from the stuff that I produce, my own tricks, the only things we sell are downloads. Great. Instant access. That's exactly. Awesome. Instant access. That's what we're going for, yeah. And you're, only, you're not doing every download either. It's just downloads that you believe in, that you kind of look at and you go, you know. Well, we have them on there. I mean... We might as well have every download. It's possible for you to get any download that, that's been released uh, through Murphy's Magic. We have linked on there, but we have our own section of all the things that I've reviewed, all the things that I recommend, and that's in a separate section. But any download that you want, you can get that on the Web of Secrets as well, yeah. Brilliant. And on the subject of that, let's talk about 
a new download that you've brought out directly, which is called Fuck Goff, right? You fuck Goff. <laughs> F-O-C-G-O-F-F. Fuck Goff, yes. Yeah, right. And this is your work on, uh, well, it's, it's, a, it's not just your, it's your work on Thinker Card, but you've also added a whole bunch of elements that you wouldn't normally see on a Thinker Card routine including a finale, which is killer, adding an extra card. Can you talk about it just for a minute of what, uh, what what's kind of going on here? Yeah, well, um, you had Nemed on last week, I think, was it? Or you've had Nemed yeah, on, yeah. on your oh, show nice recently. Yeah, to about talk, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's such a lovely guy, bless him. And he, he does his thinker card and he fishes for the card. Now, I don't like the fishing aspect of it. That's how I learned it. That's how Joe Riding presented it many, many years ago. But I've never been comfortable with the fishing. So Fuck Goff allows you to fish without fishing. It stands for force one card, get one fish free. So you're never going to be wrong with the card that you're fishing for. You're, you're playing off two people. You, you've got two cards, two thought of cards. Uh, one person thinks of one card. One person thinks of another. You have a prediction. And you can use that premise to set up to find out both cards without ever fishing, really. You're always right. You're never wrong. I, I hate fishing where you're wrong. Yeah. You know, if, if Darren Brown did something which was, which was beautiful in, uh, in his smoke routine, where he said, if you're going to fish for a card, you might as well name the card. Mm. For instance, if, if I say, so you're thinking of a card, it's the King of Diamonds. Now, there's a chance I might hit with the King of Diamonds. And that's a brilliant hit. Yeah. But... If you say no, I say, all right, but it was a picture card, wasn't it? Now I've got, and you say yes. I'm like, yeah, I thought it was. It's just not the king of diamonds. So you've got the picture card. You've still been right. You haven't been wrong, but you got that along with your king of diamonds guess. Yeah. Now, if you say no to picture card, you can then say, so it was king of diamonds. No, but it was a picture card. No, really? It was red though. No, no, I'm completely wrong. So now you've got that it's a black number card. And all you've done is guess that it's not the King of Diamonds, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does, yeah. You've, you've just thrown one card out there, but you've whittled it down because those other questions were trying to back up your King of Diamonds. Yeah, got it. So it's a little bit like that. It's a little simpler than that, but it's based on that that came from Darren Brown. And it, it's just a, a whole psychological route to, to fish for cards without fishing for cards. And on the project, you and on the download, you talk about how you can do it with other commercially available tricks like Harry Robson's The Medal. But also you've got this incredible way of actually having a prediction in full view from the whole time and, and showing that you're 100% correct. So in the routine, you've got this card, you've got a note or a bill paper clipped onto this. The card is correct. That's one of the selections. And then when they look at the five pound note or 10 pound note or whatever it is, they open it up. You predicted the other one and you've got a diabolical switch that you've Yeah, created. I love it. It's, it's called the marvelous clipped switch. And it's, it's based on Jay Sankey's paperclip thing, but I never really understood how you would have something paperclipped and then take it off the paperclip. If you're using a paperclip, you paperclip something to something. So this makes much more sense. You've got the, the note paperclip to the prediction card and literally you just slide it off right at the fingertips and hand it straight out and you've switched it at the fingertips. It's a beautiful, beautiful illusion. Very, very strong switch. Something I'm really, really happy with. And you know what? You could you could apply that switch in so many other things. Uh, Absolutely, like, and I have done many many times. I've used it for so many different things. Like as soon as I saw the switch, I imagined in my head like having a blank card with your card written on the other side with a you know with a clip, and they name a card, and you've got the gag. But then when they open up the piece of they open up the money that you've actually predicted, there's so many different ways you can go with it. It's brilliant. Well, I, I use it in my show, very similar thing with but on a much much bigger scale, and you can do it with a full playing card rather than a, a folded little note. I have a lottery ticket and a scratch card. You know the 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 scratch card routine that I do. I know you're oh, yeah. a fan of that. I have a, a lottery ticket and paperclip too. That is a scratch card. And I just do exactly the same move uh, on a bigger scale and just whip it straight off and hand it to them. So it can be adapted to many, many things. And I, I think it's a really, really strong switch. That's cool. I mean, that alone is worth the price of the download, which you've set at like just £12.99 or something, £12.95, right? 
Yeah, that, I mean, fifteen dollars. <laughs> everything kind of works out in dollars if you're going on a on a worldwide thing. So fifteen dollars seems to be the the golden ticket, really, for download prices. If you're going at ten dollars, you're getting a pretty subpar uh, effect. And if you Coming at twenty and thirty dollars, people seem to 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 shy away from it. So fifteen dollars seems to be about the right price, and it's uh, you're getting a, a a lot of bang for your buck for that. You are, yeah, it's it's great, and I'm going to do a full review for it when I'm back in the studio. But let's talk about another couple of things that you've got out recently. It, it, you co-produced with Mark Bennett, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. You and Mark yeah. have been friends for years. You co-produced what I think is one of the funniest, most awesome ideas that I've seen in a long time, which is ESP cards created to look like uh, the images from the uh, from Squid Game, right? Um, yeah. Card, what an amazing idea! It's hey, one it of those things. An, when I saw no it come out, Matt, I was like, "Why the hell did I not think of that?" I mean, that's such a good idea. Yeah, it was a no-brainer. I mean, why did I not think of that? Someone was going to think of it, really, and it was just a matter of time to who who got there first. We had to be really careful to stay away from 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 copyright issues, I guess. So we, we we've tried to stay as far away from that as we could. We we designed our own symbols, but they're based very heavily on on the uh, the Squid Game symbols. Which, to be fair, three of them are the same as in in a an ESP deck anyway. Mm. You, you've got yeah. the circle and the triangle and the square. They're already there as part of the ESP deck. We put in the umbrella symbol. Um, and I'll show you. We've got the umbrella symbol, the circle, the square, uh, a triangle, and, the, and a star. Nice. Uh, these are printed on, on business cards that resemble the, the squid card business cards they're marked as well on the back they've got almost something that looks like the squid symbol that we we've changed and we've we've worked out a, a marking system in there we've also got a joker in there which is a, a player eliminated card uh, and <laughs> there's a ton of routines in it it's, it's it's fabulous really i mean there are already thousands of routines out there for, for ESP tricks that are really, really strong and you can just adapt them and change them straight into something that's really modern and something that's really relevant. But, and this is this showcases to me the difference between you and a lot of magic producers. If another magic producer had come up with the idea of squid cards, they probably would have done the cards, maybe set up some sort of marking system on it and maybe a five minute download of how to find the car, how to find the mark and then that's it. But you've gone full on with routines and ideas and concepts. You've even got who I consider to be one of the greatest mentalists and creative mental minds of all time, Michael Murray. He's oh, right, the yeah. on there, isn't he? I thought. Well, I've got Harry Robson on there as well. I thought you were going to. I thought you were going to drop Harry Robson's name at the end of that <laughs> intro. Uh, I was. That's why I was in shock. I thought you were going for Harry. No, Michael's on there. Michael's uh, teaches us his uh, his jazz mentalism routine. Uh, from Beyond the SP, which is incredible. It's such a strong uh, matching symbol routine. Love that. Harry's got a really, really strong symbol matching routine on, on there. I've got a, a patio force routine on there. And then we've also got the, uh, the Color Monty, a Color Monty style routine that ends up with the, the gunshot player eliminated card. Really strong routines. And, and like I say, thousands of others out there that are readily available. i got to say, I love the mentalism stuff, but I have n I've seen so many variations on Color Monty, and I've n and this is the most this is the best version I've ever seen. It's even better than the original Color Monty. Anybody who knows the TV series, that they're, they're just going to get a soup. You can do that immediately, plug it straight in, and you're away. You are, you know. It's well, great. exactly. The, the 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 TV show is all about games. You're playing games, and each of these routines are based around a game, and a lot of them are finishing up with that player eliminated card. So you, you can work it in and, and it gives quite a dark and, and spooky ending to, to the traditional Color Monte. So, yeah, it works really, really well. You play it as a game uh, and, and finish with the player eliminated card. Brilliant. And they're available from you. They're also available through Murphy's from all Magic Dealers. Every Magic obviously. Shop should have them, yeah. Yeah, but, but obviously they can get them directly from you as well. Yeah, we, um, uh, we, we yeah, yeah, come and get it. Get it for, support the creator, yeah. Because <laughs> you ship worldwide. I think it's important for people to know that. You ship worldwide. Yeah, we right? do. Yeah, we'll go all over, yeah. Yeah, everywhere. 
No, no, no effort. We don't go further than that. <laughs> not into outer space, right? Okay. No, Jeff to... Bezos has tried to get Amazon up there, but we're we're, we're not quite there yet. Won't be long. <laughs> well, talking about things floating, uh, let's talk about Horizon quickly because you just like the link there. I think I did quite well there. That was uh, all right. Bad, right? I've been I've been practicing. Yeah. You've got a new version of Horizon out, like. Tell me about that, because when you first came on my radar, many and I've known you for years, Matt, but when you first came on my radar, it was because so many people were saying to me, have you seen this three fly that this guy does? The finale is just incredible. I'm like, no, I haven't. Oh, it's the perfect ending. And, and you've always been obsessed with having things float from one place to another ever since those early days. Yeah, and, but it's the same trick over and over again, really, but it just keeps getting well, better and more refined it, and yeah. more practical. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Horizon came out where it was the floating card gimmick and it was a great trick. It really, really visual. Um, I came up with a hookup where you could have it in your pocket and there was thread dangling down and it, it was a bit awkward to get into. It was possible to get into. I was still happy with that, but it, it was 10, 12 years ago. So it's the, it's that again. It's called New Horizons, but it's it's so much better it's, there's so much more practicality to it it's so much more usable and user friendly everything is built inside the deck so you can carry everything around inside the card box it's all in there there's um without exposing too much uh it's real it's real magic this is real magic and that's all this real magic is all built in inside the deck of cards so you can you can float you can get a card selected put it back in you can shuffle the deck and then it will it will float out and it's real magic which uh, and then afterwards it all goes back in and automatically goes back in and and back in the box and back in your pocket and you're ready and reset to go again so it's really really practical really strong and for me it's 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 if you were a magician first of all card tricks are a bit weird if you did real magic they are a little bit weird um but if you were a magician and someone handed you a pack of cards, if you did real magic, this would be the trick because it's real. It is real magic. You know what I mean? The, yeah. there's a play, I'm playing on that that real magic. I like what you're doing here. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Yeah. Confused. But this is this is what magic with cards would look like. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so I never used to do any sort of levitation effects, and then I started doing gravity. Um, and, and playing around with some of that stuff. And I, I, I'm amazed at the reactions it gets. And, and this is just perfect. Having seen it and having watched it, you can be right in front of it. And you just can't see a thing. But you, you talked about the, uh, the haunted pack. Doing yeah. the haunted deck as a lead into Horizon is, is incredible because one method cancels out the other, if you know what I mean. Mm. Because with haunted pack i can once it's done it's a similar kind of spooky eerily slow movement which the spectator can then grab the spectator can examine all of the deck and then i take it back i can do a quick little switch and go straight into new horizons which feels similar the card just creeps out and then boom at the very last minute it floats across those two combined together feel like the same trick, feel like a continuation of the same trick, but the methods cancel each other out. So they really, they work really, really well together. That's amazing. And again, that's direct from you, but you can also get it from magic dealers. It's, it's well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you say support the creator. Murphy's support the creator more than anybody. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take any sales away from Murphy's. We have them on our site and I'm very happy if you want to come along to our site and buy them, but I'm very happy for you to, to get it from, from any of your, your favorite magic dealers. You know, we're not trying to put anyone out of the business. Absolutely. Now I know you've got big, so those are the three new things that you've got at the moment. Obviously, um, fucked off. You can get directly as a download and you can come over to you immediately as can the haunted deck. The other two, obviously is a physical product. So it'll be shipped over to you. I know you've been working on a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to be coming out in 2022, which is incredible. Can you talk about any of it? Because I met, I, I was on this, um, I was on this channel a little while ago, and somebody was asking me about wallets, and I said one of my favourite wallets of all time was your foreseen wallet. I still have it, and I when I do a parlour show, the routine, the the main routine from foreseen with the four cards, and that I still do that in in a lot of parlour shows. I think it's incredible. 
Um, and every time you bring out a wallet, there's something exciting coming out. I know that you've got a whole bunch of stuff coming out, including a wallet that's coming very soon. Is that right? Yeah, that should be out in the in the next few weeks. Hopefully it's just it's all ready to go. Just waiting for the freight and the shipping because obviously uh, freight is so expensive at the minute. We're just trying to work out how to get it in into the places it needs to be to be sold. But I've got something called the e-wallet which E stands for evolution or everything or every, whatever way you want to, you want to say it. E wallet stands for everything because the wallet is everything. It's every wallet you want, every wallet you need for every occasion. It's kind of like a modular wallet. You can take bits out and put bits in depending on what tricks you want to do, depending on how bulky you want your pockets, depending on what clothes you're wearing, you can modify the wallet to suit your tricks and your clothes for that particular day. And you know what? Obviously, I've seen this and I can't wait for people to see it because I've seen those wallets before where they've tried to cram everything into one wallet. And it's some people love them. Some people don't like them as much because they're like, oh, there's too much. I only wanted to do this one thing. And I've never seen a wallet before where it's almost like a choose your own adventure. It's almost like a creating your own character in a computer game. It's like, right, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. So we'll not have that. And I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to do this and this. And you custom create the wallet for each individual situation that you go and perform into. Brilliant. Exactly that. Exactly that. Some people might have tight jeans, skinny jeans on one day, uh, and they want to go out and, and do some peak magic and some card to wallet magic. Well, you can take out one section of the wallet and just put that in your skinny jeans. The next day you might have a dinner jacket and you want to have something in your in your pocket here. Well, then you can you can load things and, and have a bigger wallet. You might want to carry something in your jeans back pocket that's very easy to load. So all of these different situations are all covered for whichever trick you want. You can take parts out and put parts in and, and you're covered every day for every situation. That's amazing. So that's coming out soon. I don't want to talk about everything that you've got coming out, but I know that there's one other thing, and I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be very vague because I don't know if you're allowed to say anything about this. One of my favourite Matt Wright releases of all time that I've done on parlour and stage my entire career, you have a version coming out of that at some point that makes it practical for a walk-around performer, which for me is a complete and total game-changer because that routine is like in my A-list when it comes to parlor and stage and having the ability to be able to do that walk around. I, I'm more excited about that than I am about pretty much anything at the moment. I mean, that is just... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it too. It's something that I've been trying to get in my head around for, for years since the original one came out. And I think the one that you're talking about was, I think it was my first release or first or second release. I brought three things out all at the same time. This one is the absolute nuts. And again, going from Horizon, where I've made it more practical and more usable, this is the same thing. We might, it's a, it's a, a modified, a new version of the nut dropper. Mm -hmm. um, which is the ring inside a walnut inside a fruit that you can load in an instant. Best finale to any borrowed ring routine ever, in my opinion. Well, thank you, man. Uh, but th this is... It was possible, kind of, to do in walk-around situations, but it was messy, it was clumsy, and it wasn't guaranteed. This new version is much, much more uh, accessible for, for all occasions. You can do it in cocktails, you can just put the thing on their hand and, and load it right in front of their faces, and it's inside... Uh, it's, it, it, it takes it one stage further, so it's inside a walnut, inside an egg, inside a fruit, inside a bag. Um, and I'm, I'm really, really excited for that to come out. So I'm glad you are too. Oh, no, I'm super excited about that. I know you've got a whole bunch of other stuff coming out. I'm not going to ask you to shoot your load on anything else. I will say one other thing. I'm going to be very cryptic. For people that love card to box, you just need to keep an eye on Matt Socials because at some point you're going to be coming out with a card to box, which is an absolute game changer of a method. And you showed well, me and I was like, that's Yeah, I mean, I, I'm quite creative with things like that. But when I team up with, with someone as creative as, as Mark Southworth, you know you're in for a special treat. Mark's mm -hmm. an absolute genius when it comes to creating magic. Uh, and when me and him teamed up on this, really excited. It is, a, it is absolutely stunning. I've come up with a few little card boxes in my past. I've come up with the RSVP Lipping Cop box. Uh, a long time ago, I came up with a quantum casket, which was just so difficult to produce and manufacture that there were only 50 ever made of those. This is kind of a combination of those two plus 
Mark's genius, what he's come up with. Very simple to load. And with card to boxes, I always hear that little tip out move, that little thing where you've got to do something just when everyone's watching at the very moment that they want to see you have to do something sneaky with this. You don't, everything's in there. They can reach in at their fingertips and just remove the card themselves. Very, very clever thinking from Mark. I've tweaked the designs a little bit and put my own handlings on it and it's going to be incredible. Yeah. I'm so, so new that we don't even have a name for it yet. So. Yeah. Keep watching Matt's socials. That's all I can say about that. But genuinely, I was blown away when you showed me the prototype. Now, before we finish, you are coming over to the UK, aren't you? You're doing a lecture tour. Is it? Are you flying solo, or have you got your wingman with you? Uh, yeah, it's me and me and Big H. <laughs> so me when are you H doing over? some lectures? Well, fingers crossed. Uh, I will be. Let me just get my calendar up to make sure I get these dates right. I'll be doing the MML, the Modern Mystic League in Blackburn, on the 6th of February. The 7th, we're in Belfast. The 8th, we're in Dublin. Uh, the 10th, we're in Darlington. The 12th, we're in Landudno for a show. And then the 13th, we're lecturing Landudno. On the 14th, we're in Cardiff. 15th, we're in Bristol. And then on the 17th, we're at Blackpool. I'm at Blackpool. Harry won't be at Blackpool. But Harry's I not at Blackpool, yeah. Yeah, but you're at Blackpool. Oh, that's great. I I might come over to the Cardiff one. You're nowhere in the Midlands, but I might come over to the Cardiff one. Uh, that's not too Well, far. you'd be more than well. Fingers crossed they all go ahead, you know. At this time, we've, we've got everything booked in. We've got the flights booked and, and everything. All the hotels are booked, but whether it'll come off, who knows? We probably won't know until the week before. No, we just got to keep our fingers crossed and, and, and be positive, right? Exactly. Um, I am positive. I'm always quite positive. I know you are. I know you are. And it's great to see you bringing... I mean, you're so busy. You know, you've got the uh, the Fat Matt to Fit Matt stuff going on. You, you've got the Chamber of Secrets, obviously, which takes up a lot of your time when you're in season. Uh, you've got all of the stuff that you're producing. I know that you, you mentor other people and you create video content for other people and, you know, assets for other people. And there's so much stuff that you do. I don't know how you have time to breathe, to be honest, my friend. I mean, you're just constantly... Well, I've got, to, I've got two kids under four as well. They take up most of my time, to be fair. <laughs> Man, you're, you're busy. Okay. So where can people... So one more time, I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, let's talk about all of your social. So first of all, the web store and also the, um, uh, the, uh, the review show and everything is on the Web of Secrets. Is that right? The Web of Secrets is my YouTube channel. Yeah, the review show, magic... I don't... Yeah, there's, a lot, there's, live, there's live performances. There's bits of fun. I do the wife test on there, which is always fun. Uh, if I can impress my wife, then you know it's a good trick. So we do the wife test with a lot of the things on there. Uh, that's called the Web of Secrets. That comes out, like I say... Every other week, I would I would guess at that. We've also got on Instagram, Fat Matt to Fit Matt. That's where I do a lot of my fitness stuff. Uh, the Web of Secrets dot store is where we sell all the downloads, uh, and that's about it, I think. Well, unless people are planning on holiday and everything goes back to some sort of normality this year. Yeah, absolutely. Of, you know, if you're coming over work. to the Costa del Sol at any time. Uh, and we're in Torremolinos, just on the border of Torremolinos and Ben Almadena. But if you're Torremolinos, Ben Almadena, Frengarola, Malaga, even down to Marbella, you can come up and see us at the Chamber of Secrets. Which is your own theatre. And if you want to know more about that, check out the full interview that I did on Matt on the channel. Actually, I've, I forgot. Great. I might be going for... Um, I'm going this week for, for talks with a TV producer about doing our, <laughs> a, t a TV show at the Chamber. So that should be fun. Really? That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, once, I'll, I don't want to drop any details on that. Once we stop recording, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about that because that's quite <laughs> exciting. I forgot all about that. That's how much I've got going on that I forget <laughs> that I'm, I might be producing my own TV show. How's about that? <laughs> that's incredible. You know what? Whatever you do, I know it's going to be a massive success because you're one of these people that just has one goal and you go all out and you just make sure that you hit it and it really is inspirational my friend it really is oh bless you man thank you very much you're absolutely smashing everything you do as well at the minute you're like the the biggest thing on youtube i think right now aren't you i don't know i just try my best i just put film these videos put them out and hope a few people are going to watch them you know oh they're loving it <laughs> yeah people are loving you and how's your business your business is brilliant isn't it yeah, yeah, we're doing well. We're doing well. We're navigating restrictions and finding ways around it. So that's what you got to do, isn't it? At the moment, you got to 
you've got to keep moving forward exactly find creative ways to succeed you know that's what you got to do they'll never keep us down mate absolutely well you know what matt I want everyone to follow you, everyone to buy your stuff. I'm going to take it back into the studio now and I'm going to review some of the stuff that we talked about in this chat. But you're always welcome on Magic TV. One more time, Matt, thank you so much. Cheers, man. See you later, buddy. Don't look nervous. Your stuff's amazing. Be kind, be kind, be kind. Always going to get a good review. (laughs) See you later, Matt. See ya. So first of all, thank you very much, Matt, for coming on the channel. Thank you very much for finding the time to be interviewed and spilling your guts about some of the new stuff that's coming out through Marvelous Effects. Really appreciate it, mate. I do indeed. Now, first of all, the first trick that I'm going to be looking at is Fock Goff. And if you haven't seen the trailer, go watch the trailer. It's hilarious. Uh, it's typical Matthew Wright. Fock Goff stands for Force One Card get one fish free. And as Matthew said in the uh, in the interview with him, it's a way of doing a uh, it's a way of fishing but without actually getting anything wrong because we've all seen those people that do fishing that don't do it correctly, they don't understand the concept really behind it and it looks less like mind reading and more like guesswork and getting it all wrong. Well, Matthew, this this too this is a download, you can get it directly from the web of secrets. It's about half an hour long. And it's a masterclass in how to do this stuff correctly. Um, so first of all, what you get, what the actual uh, trick is. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a full performance first of all. So let me show you a full performance of the main fuck off routine. But you can actually adapt this in so many different ways. But I'm going to do a performance first of all so you can kind of see what it is that you, what you're getting for your money. And then we'll break it down in more right, detail. Nice. So Luke, I've got a deck of playing cards here. And um, I'm going to give you a chance to win some money. I know you like money. Nice. So hold your hand out for me. Uh, I have here... Oh, that should have clipped to it and it fell out in my pocket, but don't worry. I have here a £5 note clipped to a prediction. That playing card is a prediction. Of course. Okay. If I don't get this trick right, then you get to keep the £5 note. Mm. So here's well. what we're going to do. Uh, I've got a pack of 52 playing cards. Yep. They are all there. They are all different. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm, I'm going to spread them out towards you. I just want you to think of any one of them. So as I spread through, just can you just of think one. of one? Yeah, got one. You got one? Mm-hmm. Keep it in your head. Don't tell anyone. Keep okay. it to yourself. Very good. Now, Jack, uh, I'm going to do the same thing with you. You're going to think of a card as well. But because you're behind the camera, I'll do it like this. I'll just take cards off, take packets of cards. Just say stop <coughs> anytime you want to. Stop. There? Yep. Okay. Uh, So can you look at that card for me there, buddy? Got it. You got it? Yep. Very good. So two cards have been picked. We're going to lose them into the pack. So uh, concentrate on the cards, guys. I'm going to try and work out the cards that you're thinking of. I see a a black card. Is that right? Yep. Okay, that's what I thought. And your card's a black card, isn't it, as well? Yeah. It's just amazing, isn't it? Um, I see a uh, a spade. Was your card a spade? Yeah. Was your card a spade as well? (laughs) Yeah. This is incredible. I see a high card. Was your card a high card? No. Oh, hang on, was your card a high card? Very high. See, that's the problem. He was thinking too hard. He was overwriting <laughs> your thought process right here. Um, your card was, wasn't was high. It was exactly the opposite. It was quite a quite a low card, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a high card. It was quite a low card. Um, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I was absolutely bang on. This prediction has been here on your hand the entire time with a £5 note pinned to it, yes? Yes. First of all, Jack, my friend, yep. can I ask you a question? Go on. Let me just take this uh, paper clip off. For the first time, tell me what was the name of your card? The Queen of Spades. And the card that was here the entire time <laughs> was the Queen of which is pretty cool, right? I mean, yeah. that's pretty weird. <laughs> but this is the five pound note that has been pinned to that card from the very beginning. Yep. I haven't even asked you the name of your card. For no. the first time, what was the name of your card? Two of Spades. And I said if I got this wrong, you could keep the five pound note. Yeah. I haven't got it wrong. Open up the f- five pound note and have a look at what's written on the inside. <laughs> you wanted the two of spades what? right there written on right. the five pound note the two of spades, which means I get to keep that and you get to give me a big round of applause for being so clever. So there you go. That's the, the big round of applause. There it is. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I love that routine. Like that is a routine that's going to go into my act because just the trick that you saw me perform, no table required, instant reset, Easy to do, although there's fishing because of Matthew's ingenious system, it doesn't feel like you're getting anything wrong. You hand the prediction to them from the very, very beginning. 
and, and, and everything's instantly reset and it takes up very little pocket space. It's brilliant. It's absolutely awesome. So what you get in Fock Off is you get some incredible tuition to be able to do that trick, but the principles you can apply to lots of other routines that you already do. So first of all, you get taught how to make the gimmick deck. It's a, it's a very clever gimmick deck. There's nothing new there, but Matthew gives you his thoughts on, on, on how to make the deck and, and what to include and what not to include. Uh, you then learn a very particular force that allows you, I think it's called the social distancing force, but I might be wrong. He, he teaches you a very, very interesting force that's very similar to a timing force, but it doesn't feel like a timing force. It actually feels like they could have picked any card. Uh, because you say to the first person, think of a card, you say to the second person, look, you're going to get the same choice as well. Just say, stop, stop that one, have a look at that card. It feels really fair. I've never seen that done before. I thought that was really good. Then he goes into great detail about how to do the fishing and how to actually get the person's card. And because you've got a force card in play, you're never going to get the uh, you're never going to get a negative or if you do you'll only get one negative and it's not really a negative and you see that in the live performance but it, it's really an ingenious method even if you don't use it for this routine there's lots of other ways that you can use it I personally really love this routine and let me tell you why the reason I love the routine is because you're doing this whole mind reading bit from the very very beginning though you gave out this card with this uh with this note pin to it, a uh, safety clip to it or whatever it is, you know, a paper clip to it. And you say to the audience, or you say to the spectator, hey, if I don't get this right, you're going to get to keep that money. But I have to nail this 100%. And, uh, and, and then, you know, you, you turn the card over and the card predicted the first person's card. And then the second person's card, you open up that, that, that note that's been there the whole time. And when you open it up, it's got the second card written on it. And they've been holding that and they could have thought of any card. It's a really clever idea. And the switch that he uses in order to switch the, um, uh, the billets can be applied to so many other routines. Like, that's one of the things that most excited me about this particular download. That switch is genius. It really is. And I'm already playing around with other routines and ideas with this switch because, honestly, there's so many applications. If you're a mentalist, um, you really need to learn this switch. It's such a great way to do Jay Sankey's full view switch, but without a folded card. It's completely changed. It's great. It's awesome. Uh, I would recommend this product, even if it was just to learn the switch. As it is, you're going to get this incredible commercial routine. Uh, he teaches you how to make a pocket index um, or shows you various different ways of using a pocket index. Um, just everything's just complete. As you would imagine with Matthew Wright, it's a complete full. Everything is is explained really, really clearly. No stone is left unturned. And if you've uh, been watching videos on this channel for any length of time, you know that a big bone of contention for me is when a magic company releases a product and it's like five minutes long and it doesn't really tell you anything. This is the exact polar opposite. This actual download should be a masterclass that's shown to people that produce downloads on how to actually do it correctly. I'm going to give this 100%. I think it's really good. I love it. I'm going to do it. I went to the trouble of making the deck up, making all of the five pound notes up. I'm definitely going to do this. It's 100%. It's really cool. So the second routine that I want you guys to have a look at today is Squid Cards. And this is by Matthew Wright and Mark Bennett. And what it is, basically, they've capitalised on the Squid Games, which I binged like pretty much everybody else in the world did. And they've created a set of ESP cards made to, uh, and the symbols are based on the Squid Game. So you've got the umbrella in there, you, you, you know, uh, yeah. So basically it's, it's ESP cards, but made to look like Squid Cards. It's the sort of cards that if squid cards were going to you know if you're if you watching the squid games and the next game announced use playing cards or something this would be what you'd have it's a really great way to capitalize on something now obviously you need to bear in mind that this needs to be formed in front of an adult audience you know this isn't something that you could do for kids uh because obviously kids wouldn't be watching squid games and you wouldn't want to bring squid games up in front of kids but for the right audience right time right place this is perfect the real gold with this so you get the uh the, the squid cards now the first thing i should tell you about them they're made out of like a business card style stock 
but, I, but it's, they're designed to be done that way. They're designed to be done so that they're very kind of urban, very gritty, very um, industrial, if that makes sense, and it fits it perfectly. Uh, you get a whole stack load of these squid cards. You get two jokers, and the jokers uh, look like you're, you know, blowing someone's brains out, which makes sense if you've seen squid games. Um, the backs of the cards have a really clever marking system built into them like a really clever marking system built into them um i i struggle reading marks on the backs of cards but i could read these fine i could read these absolutely fine it's very clever how it's done because the backs of the cards are all urban and gritty as well and they're designed to look like the sort of cards that you'd have in squid games um and the, the mark marking system i believe mark bennett created the marking system but it's all based on the smudges on the cards really really clever really clever very obvious when you know exactly what you're looking for super obvious so you've got this set of marked cards the real goal here is the instructions and the download that you get with it so first of all they open with michael murray teaching his jazz esp routine which let's be honest if you are only going to get the jazz esp routine this is worth the price of the download, and then some. Michael Murray is a genius. I love him to bits. He is so clever, so creative, and this routine is golden. I've never really seen it before, even though he published it before. Never even seen it before, but this is something I'm absolutely going to use. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'm going to do a performance of it right now so you can see what that looks like. Let's do a full performance of uh, the Jazz ESP routine by Michael Murray. I'm here with uh, with Luke. Hello. Uh, Luke, uh, you watch the Squid Games? Um, kind of. In and out. My girlfriend watched it a lot. And you kind of half watched kind it? Kind of half watched it. I don't understand it. how you could half watch yeah. Squid Games. Oh, I was Luke, literally... it's a brilliant show. Yeah, I was I know, on the edge of my seat. I was literally on the edge of my seat. Of of my seat. Uh, well, I realised, if I was in... I know what happens. You know, yeah, everyone dies. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> everyone dies but one guy. Yeah. Spoiler. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, um, I, I think I could win the Squid Games. In fact, if the Squid Games were a real thing, I'd sign up right now. Because I think I could win. Because I think the only thing that you need to be able to do if you're going to win at the Squid Games is just to be able to know what people are going to do beforehand. Mm -hmm. If I know the outcomes of the games or what the game is going to be before you go into the game, there's no way I could lose. Mm -hmm. So I've got these cards. These are actually called Squid Cards. Yeah. And they're a little bit like the sort of thing that you would see in Squid Games. Yeah. I've got two packets of five, and they're all exactly the same. They have symbols on them. So, uh, And these symbols are to do with the show. You probably <coughs> recognise these symbols. Yeah. And they're all the same. So we have... Uh, as you can see two circles two squares two umbrellas you don't want that that's not a good thing to have two uh stars and two triangles why did everybody just go oh, what was the because there's a game where they have to like break a cookie apart ah, and okay. and it's kind of easy with Obviously a square and a circle it's very very difficult with a with a um with with a, a umbrella sure. you have to lick it watch yeah. the tv show you'll get oh, it right okay anyway <laughs> give these a shuffle you go back a little bit for me jack so you can see everything that's going on and you give your packet a shuffle i'm going to give my packet a shuffle my job is to try and predict what you are going to do that's my job yeah. i'm going to try and predict what you are going to do so you can look at this, the cards if you want to just don't let me see i'm always going to put my card down before you put your card down <clears throat> So I'm making a prediction right now. What I want you to do is put a card face down. That would be... Any card. Any card. Now, it's very important that you can change your mind if you want to. Are you happy there? I'm happy. You're happy? If yeah. you're happy, I'm happy. Let me see if I can do this again. We'll go for... That one. Okay. What you got? Don't let me see, obviously, because if you, if you let me see, it's not a very good job. Are you sure you want that one? Yes. Do you want to change your mind? No. Okay. I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for that one. You're going to go for that one? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go for that one right there. That one? You're going to go for that one? Yeah. Okay, and that means that I finish off with that one. And I finish off with that one. Now, let me ask you a question. Was that fair? Same fair. Like, there's no way I could have cheated or anything no. like that, right? Yep. Let's see how we did. So, uh, the last one you put down was a, a umbrella, and I put down an umbrella. Uh, before that, it was two squares. No. Before <laughs> that, it was two stars. Before that, it was two triangles. 
And before that, it was two circles. <laughs> oh. And that is why I would boss the Squid Games every single time. I'd be dead. Ladies and yeah. gentlemen, season two, episode one. There you go. You've had spoiler right now. <laughs> so there you go. That's what the, the Jazz ESP routine looks like. It's killer. It's killer. Killer. That's all I can say about that. It's absolutely killer. Um, and, you know, the cards can be examined and it's, uh, uh, it's you know, an instant reset and it just takes up a pocket and it's great. Uh, and it's called Jazz ESP because it's a different kind of outcome every time, depending on what the audience does, you're jazzing it. I love those style of routines where I'm thinking on my feet. It stops me from becoming complacent. So brilliant. Um, then... Uh, Matthew Wright has got a routine on using the patio force, which is really clever. Uh, Harry Robson has got a routine on there, which is really clever. Harry Robson is, again, a living legend. Go check out his interview on, uh, on the Talk Magic playlist. And then you've got an obvious application of these cards, but really clever thinking in terms of applying these cards to this. And that's um, the uh, Color Monty uh, routine. Color Monty? Yeah, Color Monty. So you've got, uh, you can do the classic Color Monty with the squid cards. And it kind of, from a narrative point of view, anybody who knows squid games, it absolutely makes sense. Let me do a performance of that so you can see exactly what that looks like. So I've got Jack behind the camera. How are you doing, Jack? I'm good. Good. Um, I know you're a fan of the uh, the squid games, aren't you? Oh, brilliant show. Brilliant show, right? Did you know there was a, uh, there was a scene in the movie that didn't uh, in the TV series that didn't make the cut. Oh really? Yeah, they they took it out. There were, there was another game. They were going to have an extra game, and they took it out. But I can actually replicate that game for you if you'd like me to. Oh yeah. It was kind of like a one-on-one -on -one gambling game, and you know the guys in the masks. Yeah. Um, they basically had three cards, and and I'll I'll show you exactly how the game worked, and we can pretend that you're one of the people that's playing the game. Oh boy. And and you get told beforehand you have seven lives. And, uh, and and if you lose all seven lives, well, you know what that means. It means that you're <laughs> you eliminated. Get yeah, you get eliminated, <laughs> right? So the, the idea of the game is really simple, though. You should be able to pass, no problem. So the idea is that you've got three symbols. You've got the circle, uh, which you'll recognize from when they had to cut out the, uh, the thing. Yeah, the you've got another circle. And then you've got the umbrella, which is obviously the really hard one, right? Oh, yeah. Because that's the, that's the difficult one. Your job is to follow the umbrella. If you follow it and get it right, you pass through to the next round. If you get it wrong, I'm afraid that's one life gone, seven lives gone, you get eliminated. Oof. Okay? So there's the umbrella. I'm just going to put it on the bottom. Where is it? On the bottom. Okay, so that's one life that you've lost. But don't worry about it, Jack. It's okay. One life down. We've still got plenty to go. If it's not on the bottom, would you say it's on the top? Yes? Oh, I'll pin so. Yeah, well, that would also be losing a life. So you've now lost two lives. So it's not on the top or the bottom. Logic dictates the only place it could be is... The middle. That's a third life that you've lost. Now, that's three lives down. So you're probably feeling a little bit nervous now. You're probably thinking, hang on a second, there's no umbrella. Because yeah. you've just seen three cards and they're all circles. Well, if you said that, you'd lose another life. That would be four lives gone because the umbrella's on the bottom. What? And you're probably thinking, well, hang on a minute. If the umbrella's on the bottom, there's no way it could be on the top. Uh, but it's on the top, so that would be another life that you've lost. That's five lives. Uh, and if you said, well, it can't be in the middle, you'd lose another life as well because that would be six lives that you would have lost. But I like you. I want to see you go to the next round. You've only got one life left and then you're eliminated. So I'll tell you what, I'll make it nice and easy. Uh, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Look, I will turn over this one here, which is a circle. Yeah. I'll turn over this one here, which is an umbrella. That leaves that one right there. You just have to tell me what that card is. If you get it right, you move to the next round. If not, you're eliminated. Oh, it's a circle. Are you sure? Yeah. You know that with squid games, they kind of just pull the rug under you at the last minute. Are you sure it's a circle? It's got to be. Yeah? Yeah. Unfortunately, my friend, you've been eliminated. Player eliminated. Shot in the head. That's your blood. Game over. There you go. That's all I've got to say about that. Balls. I know. You know, that's just a great thing to just put into your wallet, put into your wallet, right? And just have it in there. And when you're out with mates and you're out with friends or you're out down the pub and somebody brings up Squid Games, you go, hang on a minute, have, have I ever shown you this? No, oh, let me show you. I've got it in my wallet. It makes it a great everyday carry thing for the right time, right place. If you're down the pub or something, killer, absolutely killer. Uh, look, I love this as a product. I didn't think I would like it. I, I, I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I would like it for a few different reasons, but I'm wrong. I think it's great. And I think the thing that won me over initially was the tutorial and how in-depth it was. 
I should have expected that from Matthew Wright and his team because let's be honest, he doesn't half ass anything. It's either all or nothing with Matthew Wright. So I should have expected it, but I thought they were going to phone at home. I thought it was going to be like, yeah, here's the cards. This is what you're going to... Exactly the opposite. The fact that they managed to get Michael Murray to teach one of his iconic signature routines as part of the project is just amazing. It shows the reach that, uh, that uh, Matthew Wright's got and the lengths he's, he's prepared to go to to create a really good product. But then on top of that, you know, you've got all these other routines as well. The other thing that you should know about these ESP cards is you can apply them to any ESP routine that you want to. If there's an ESP routine that you do, and you want to make it so that uh, it works with ESP uh, squid cards, you can do that. Absolutely not a problem at all. In a, you can cross anything over. And because you get a bunch of these squid cards, even routines where you're using a, 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 an ESP deck will be absolutely fine as well. The only thing you need to bear in mind is because of their urban gritty kind of look, they don't handle as well as a USPC printed playing card if that makes sense so if there's a routine that requires quite intricate slights you might struggle with these cards outside of that it's completely transferable so yeah i'm going to give this 95 percent. i think this is great i'm definitely going to use these i'm definitely going to do the color monty i'm definitely going to do the michael murray routine and i'm going to carry these around with me and i think that for the right audience this is going to kill i think one of the most important things is the hook isn't it like when you walk up to a group of people you hook them in well, you know, one of the ways to hook somebody in is by saying, hey, have you, you seen, you got Netflix? Netflix? <laughs> I'd be very surprised if they have Netflix. Have you got Netflix? You have. Oh, did you see Squid, Squid Games earlier this year? What did you think of it? Well, let me show you this. And you're in. Boom. Great. Instant hook. So, yeah, 95%. Highly recommended. It. It's really cool. Outside of that, guys, I just want to say one more thing, which is the future is looking very bright when it comes to... Uh, marvellous effects. I, I chatted for about 45 minutes before the camera started rolling with Matthew and he was going into great detail about some of the routines that he's got coming out. The card to impossible location, the card to box that he talked about, I genuinely think this is going to be a game changer. I've never seen a box that does what he his box does. Um, and he showed it me. He showed me the whole thing, the prototype. It looks incredible. Um, look out for this because honestly, I collect card to boxes and I've used them all throughout the years and I love a lot of them. This one, by golly, it's so clever. It really is really, really clever. Um, imagine having a box where you can see the folded up card in there the whole time. The whole time. You can put it down on the table. You can put it into the spectator's hand. You can see the folded up card there the whole time. And then when it comes time for it, you take the lid off, you put it underneath the box, you give them the box, they reach in, they take the card out themselves. There's no tip out move. They reach in, they take the card out themselves, they open it up themselves. It's their signed card. That's what you have here with this box that doesn't take up too much space. Wow. So look out for the stuff that's coming from Marvelous Effects. He showed me some stuff. Uh, that we didn't even talk about that was incredible card revelations using I, I don't even want to get into it i can't get into it i don't know how much i'm allowed to say but trust me guys the future is definitely bright when it comes to marvelous effects matthew wright has probably got more tricks coming out this year than i have ever seen in any previous year from him so there you go guys that is another review show special in the bag thank you very much for joining me once again on a sunday evening let me know what you think in the comments down below there will be a link in the description where you can purchase this stuff directly from the web of secrets the download is only from the web of secrets the squid cards you can get from the web of secrets or from your favorite magic dealer because they are through murphy's don't forget you want to see more videos like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below you want to join netrix it's coming soon just go over to www.magictv.org Fill in the form, put down that you're interested in Netflix, we'll get to you when it goes live. And again, one more time, thank you very much for joining me. I will be back tomorrow with three videos at two o'clock, a shorts, at six o'clock, a, uh, well, I've got six, a live, and at nine o'clock, right back here with a five by five. I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic. <laughs>